Hi, thanks for watching. Welcome to part four, which is the coin platforms, the coin walls, and the backdrops. Here you can see the pressure platforms, the coin walls, and you can also see the coin backboard that's in place. The mechanism obviously sits behind this, pushes the platform backwards and forwards. Here's an overview of the actual machine itself. So we've got the drop platform at the bottom that the coins fall onto and the pushing platform above. Here you can see that we're going to work on the drop platform. Um, I've cut two holes in the MDF platform. Measurements are on screen now. The aluminium top, the drop platform, is glued and not screwed into place. The reason for this, the screw heads actually cause the coins to get stuck and they build up behind them, which can lead to the mechanism getting stuck too. Here's a nice action shot of the pushing platform moving smoothly over the top of the drop platform. Notice the reinforced edges to both platforms. This was a bad idea because there was a slight lip and the coins began building up, again blocking the mechanism. Don't do this, it's best to have one smooth piece of aluminium for the coins to travel on. To get the raised edge on the front drop platform, you need to put something between the two holes, a straight edge, and bend slightly upwards on the metal. Using the same straight edge, put it slightly under the lip of the drop platform at the front that's now raised, and push down to give a nice straight front edge. From a side view, the front of the drop platform angle should now look like this. Remember to use a glue to attach the aluminium to the top of the drop platform. If you did need to screw it, screw it from the front edge. Don't let the coins get failed. Remember to glue the aluminium to the top of the pusher platform. The 20mm of aluminium at the rear of the pusher platform allow it to slip under the backboard and prevent the pusher platform from getting stuck. 30mm at the front should be bent down to make the front edge of the pusher platform. The pusher platform coin walls do a couple of jobs. One, they support the coin backboard where the coins fall down. The second, they allow the coins to build up and give it some resistance and guidance for the pusher platform. Stop the pusher platform going off course. The drop platform coin walls do a slightly different job. One, they funnel the coins outwards into a bigger player area. They also allow you to cover your coin traps to make them hidden from the player. Please note the cutouts under the triangles. This allows the coins to fall down the gutter. The coin backboard is the vertical area where the coins are placed in the machine and they fall on top of the pusher platform. There is a perspex front. This is separated by four washers that allow the coins to slip between the perspex and the steel backboard. The washers are three millimetres thick and give just enough clearance for a 2P to slip between the two. I've added plenty of extra screws between the perspex and the backboard so the coins can bounce off the obstacles on the way down. Here are all the components put together in today's video from a side view. So how does it all look when it's running? Well here's the machine today without coins in it but with the blue LED lights on it. Thanks for watching and all your comments on my project so far. Don't forget to email me if you've got any questions. And part 5 coming soon.